Hey everyone, I know I start a lot of these videos with today we're gonna talk about, I'm just gonna show you today, it's much more show than tell. The thing is, as much as we talk about LEDs in terms of lighting and making pretty colors with a bunch of them, most of us use them for indication. It's not always easy to find exactly what you want in terms of an indication LED. We're really good at finding red because it's actually at the tail end of what our eyes can see as humans, so all red wavelengths about look the same to us. Where things get complicated is with green. The issue here is that sometimes we get greens like this that um, are closer to a yellow. I'll hold this against me so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And the thing is, this is not always what we want when we say green. A lot of times we actually wanted something a lot more like this, which is called a true green. The other color is called a PC green, which is a phosphor converted green. Now, there's not that much of a difference between these two. If you go on arrow.com and start looking for an indication LED, you're probably looking for things like current, maybe the voltage drop. You just clicked green in terms of what color you want it to be. If you were expecting this color and you got that color, it might upset you. While we do show wavelengths on our website, it's not that useful unless you know exactly what wavelength you're actually looking for. So what we're going to show you is every single one of the 30 different wavelengths that we have available in stock, quantity of one, so you know exactly what you're looking for for your next project. I hope this was helpful, and I hope it can help you avoid some of the same ordering mistakes that we've all made. And now, like all the cool kids, you can answer your favorite color in nanometers.